guys welcome back to my channel so today is another color series and um so about a month ago I posted a picture on my Instagram of this blue eye and I did it based off some pants that I have I've been having these pants for a while and I'm gonna post a picture on uh, at the top of what the pants look like so you can kind of see like what I was going for and um it was really easy to achieve this look and all the products are very inexpensive so before I get started with the video I was just going to talk talk a little bit about um, the palette that I use and another product so I know in all my um, videos I use the 252 palette and I never I just realized I never told you guys exactly about the palette I think I did in one of my other videos but I'm not sure so I want to talk about that so let me show you what the palette looks like this is the palette and it's called 252 ultimate eyeshadow palette and I got this for Christmas last year and it's by Coastal Scents so if you can go on Amazon you can just put in 252 eyeshadow palette and this one should pop up and there's other ones that also will pop up but make sure you see the one that says Coastal Scents that's the one that I have and to show you this is how it looks in the inside hope you guys can see that and it has three trays and then the pink it has three trays and then it has pink tabs so you can pull each tray and this is what I've been using for most of my looks I have other eyeshadows but I keep coming back to this um, palette because it has like every color you really basically need for almost every look of this palette and as you can see the pigments are really really good especially when you use the right product with it so when I got it it just came like bubble wrapped it was in really good condition they made sure they kept it like you know cushioned so it wouldn't get messed up um, and of course I got through Amazon so if you you know if it was broken you can always like you know return it and get something else or get another one and it also came with this sticker that I haven't used yet I love makeup and you can see it has the Coastal Sense website and you can also just directly go to the website and order the palette so yeah you can just go to the website and you can order it straight from there or you can order from Amazon I'm not sure how much it costs from the actual website because I just went on Amazon I basically get a lot of stuff from Amazon and so well yeah so um I kind of just told Greg which one I wanted and he just bought it. So I, it was a Christmas gift, but I kind of like already knew what it was. So another product that I'm absolutely in love with and I never really told you guys about it is the eyelashes that I'm wearing. And I always buy these lashes Um, besides my Kardashian lashes by their brand called um, Karma, I believe. Um, I use those and then um, so if I don't feel like going and spending the amount of money I spend on the lashes that I love I just go to a beauty supply and get the 99 cent ones but I really don't like those um, I use them for one of my other so the lashes that I love is I think they're called Ardell I think I'm pronouncing that correctly and Ardell natural lashes and you can get this from Target I don't know if Walmart sell them um, probably like CVS or Walgreens um, and um, Ulta I always just go to Target to get my lashes or to get a lot of my um, drugstore products and they range from $3.99 to $2.99. I know Ulta right now is having a sale on these for $2.99. I don't know when it ends but Target they're originally like $3.99. Um, for most people who really want to spend that much money on one, one pair of lashes, these lashes are really good and when they say natural they feel really light. Um, they're lightweight they're easy to apply it comes with since it's like a starter kit it always each pair always comes with um, the glue and then the little clip thing that you use to like put the lashes on um, I really like that clip because it's easy to uh, apply the lashes um, they also have them in like two pairs and the ones that I got was 110 I believe yeah the ones I got was 110 and they were in black and these and they were called natural so I really, I just dropped the thing. I really like these lashes and I think this is going to be one, of, I think this is one of the things I gave away in the giveaway. Um, so yeah, also um, through, 
throughout the video I will post like all the products that I use and I noticed that I say oh I'm gonna put everything in the description box and I don't I don't know why but this time I am even though I, I do name everything in the video I am gonna put everything in the description box um let me know how you guys feel about this look I really love this look um it came out really pretty it's different from the Instagram picture I kind of glammed it up a little bit more for you guys and also another thing before I get started with the video I never told you guys where I get my hair from which because I never get the question um, from you guys of wh where do I get my hair from or who does my hair um, I get my hair from her imports I believe I'll post a link to the actual website down below um, I'm I, I like the company I like the hair um, they also have vendors that you can go to in different states to get the hair and since I live in Texas they have one here in Texas so I actually went there to buy the hair and they just they have also different bundle deals that you can get you can get three packs of hair for a pr good price um, and I do my own hair sometimes my friend Megan she uh, braids my hair and she'll sew it in but you know, I usually do my own hair. I usually do like a U-part wig and everything. Um, I even got the closure from the same company. Some of the hair is not their hair. It's another company's hair that I can't remember the name to. But it's only probably like a half a pack that's not theirs. I do use about five bundles of hair because I really like it full. So it is a 30, 20, it's a 30, 26 24 um i believe a 16 a 16 and then a 14 and then i have the closure i believe um if i'm not sure i will post i'm going to post everything about the hair down below but if that's wrong i'll put that down but i really like my hair to be full and how i lighten it um i just used uh what is that not the when you get the hair dye it comes with like the peroxide and then it comes with like the bleach packet i just use the peroxide from the hair dye and i talked about how i take care of my extensions on my extension video and that hair dye that i use i just use that liquid the peroxide i believe on my hair and that's how i got like the highlights i use it on you know some parts of the hair um, and also a new color is coming up so I'm gonna recolor my hair and I'm actually gonna record myself doing that but um so I'm gonna get started with the video because I'm just rambling on but I just wanted to like update you guys on everything so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video bye thank you for okay guys so like always my eyebrows are done and my face is primed and I'm going to start off by using my MAC paint pot like I always do I love this base because I use a lot of eyeshadows and it helps everything stay together. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to use is this chocolate brown like I mostly do any other time. And like I said that's like my main transition colors especially when I'm using colors or nudes. Um, and so I'm going to use this fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that out. So the key for this look is blending like my other videos. I always talk about blending. Blending is very important when you're doing like colors and you're doing multiple eyeshadows. So the next color I'm going to use is the highlight for my eyebrow and it's that new color right there. And I always use this. This is one of my favorite colors in the 252 palette because it gives your eyebrow a nice pop. So for this color, it is a brown reddish color. I know that's weird because I'm using blue, but this color helps add some pop to the blues. Um, I like this color a lot because in the end I'm using black and I don't want to use too much black. So to define the crease a little bit more, I'm using Espresso by MAC and I just use a regular eyeshadow brush by MAC. And I just put a little in the crease. Um, you don't have to put too much. This step is actually could be optional. If you don't have espresso, you don't have to do this. Or you can just use another dark brown eyeshadow.
So like I did in my other video, I'm using my foundation powder in W43 and I just put that in the inner corners of my eyes because I just like the way it look. And so I'm taking the NYX um, pencil, Jumbo Eye Pencil and it is in Peacock and I'm just using that for the base of my first color. So the first color I'm going to use is this dark blue color and I'm just going to use that in the outer corner of my eye and you can get a look, you can basically like edit your own look, you don't have to put as much as I did or you can put more, it just depends on how blue you want it to look. So you want to blend that out because you want that transition. So the next color is a medium blue color in the 252 palette. And I'm just adding that right on top of the dark blue and into the rest of my primer and it adds a gradient effect. So I kind of liked how it was looking but in, when I was looking in the mirror it wasn't showing up as good as it is on camera now. So I added a little bit of my um, e.l.f. glitter primer and then I added some more and it really made it pop. So like I said, after I used the e.l.f. glitter primer, it really brought the color out a lot more to me and I really like how that looked. And so as you can see, before the other blue, it's already gradient. So now I'm going to use the last blue color and it's a bright blue and that's just for the inner corner of my eyes so I can have that real loud blue in the inner and then it fades out to a darker blue. So you want to make sure that each color is going into the other one. You don't want to leave any lines or spaces. You want them to basically flow together. So now I'm just taking any black eyeshadow. This one's from the same palette. And I'm just adding a little bit with my fluffy brush to the outer part of my eye blending it into the crease a little bit and I'm using a little at a time because I don't want to use it I don't want the black to overpower the blue and making sure that I blend and blend and blend because you don't want any harsh lines guys like I said in all my videos you want to blend So I'm going back into that 252 palette and I'm taking that reddish brown that I used in the beginning and I'm adding more to the top because I really want that to show. So now with my Revlon Color Stay Pen, this is my favorite eyeliner, I'm just adding a thin line of eyeliner at the top because guess what, I'm going to apply my false, seat, my false lashes. So I'm just adding a thin line because you do not want your false lashes to show and I'm adding a small coat of my Colossal Volume Express Maybelline um, Mascara and this is the only mascara I use so this is what I use on all my videos. So I already applied my lashes off camera and I've gotten a lot better at applying lashes and as you can see the lash line is not showing because of the liner. And I'm applying some more coat of mascara to blend my lashes with the Fossies. So you guys, my full face is now done. I have my concealer, my foundation, my blush, my contour and highlight. So now to finish my eyes, I'm going to use my Ruby Kisses White Eyeliner and I'm placing that on the waterline.
And then I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil that I use for a base for my dark, uh, my dark blue eyeshadow. And I'm going to put that right under the white. You don't want to cover the white, but you want to put it right under it. Just so you can still see the blue, but not too much blue. So taking a fluffy angle brush, I'm adding some of the black that I use right on top of that blue and I'm kind of blending that in so you, you're getting like a dark blue with the uh, black and it gives it a smoky look. To finish off my eyes, I'm using my Sephora Micro Smooth Palette. Uh, it's like a little palette in Sunray, and I'm using the lighter, lightest color for the inner tear ducts. And that's just to highlight my eye and make them brighter. So the last thing I'm going to do is add mascara to my bottom lashes. And I add quite a bit of mascara because since I have false lashes on, they're really long, so I really want to show my bottom lashes. Okay guys, so that is the full face. And now I have to go do my hair so you guys can get the full effect. So my hair is done, my makeup is done, and I look gorge. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and let me know how you feel about this look. And I can't wait to my next color series, color series video. And I see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>